there everybody, I'm just going to fix up some oil for Jessie. I'm going to make sure that she's in as good a condition for when she's um, sat for a few weeks when I get my foot done. But anyway, the thing I'm going to be talking about today is robotics and re advanced animalistic type robotics. Uh, I'm sure, or humanoid type robotics I suppose, I'm sure you've heard of Asimo, you know the one that's uh, made by Honda, that can walk around, hold stuff, push trolleys, go up and down stairs, that sort of shit. Very impressive. It's come on leaps and bounds in the past 10 years. Uh, well, I think they probably started about 10 years ago, I don't think it was it before, well, you know, on that particular one. I remember seeing stuff about Asimo as it sort of, as it went along, the time that it fell over on stage and they put curtains around it. <laughs> Hide the robot's dignity, damn it. And there's another group that's developing robotics called Boston Dynamics. Now, I don't know if they've always been called Boston Dynamics, but their designs, they've got like this four-legged thing which is supposed to carry um, stuff for uh, soldiers in war because it can carry like 300 something pounds on its own it can go over all terrain because it's using legs not wheels very very clever shit well anyway I've been watching this stuff develop over the years and I recently thought oh I've... how many more cars are going to pull over for me this is mad it's so nice thanks man um I looked into it, yeah, so more recently, see how things have been developing, and Jesus Christ, they've jumped forward. I mean, I'm sure it's part of the sort of, you know, the advanced gyros and balancing tools and all the computers and everything getting smaller and the different types of uh, pneumatics or hydraulics that they're now using. This, they've got some insane machines. I mean, they've got this guy, I think it's called like Pet Man or something, and when it's got a biological suit, if you go onto Boston Dynamics um, YouTube page, you can look at all the videos on there, you'll see what I'm talking about. They've got loads of different animals that are set to do, like, and I call them animals, loads of different robots which copy animals, and obviously that's a very intelligent thing to do, copy nature. You know, nature's used many millions of years of evolution to come up with the designs that it's got. Why is it only been until now that we've thought, do you know what? Birds, they had it right. <laughs> or insects. And then we create stuff and we find it so amazing because it's copying a design which is tried and tested. Yeah, so they've got this pet man that, as I say, with a biological suit on. You would question at a distance whether it was a man or not in it. It can walk, it can move its arms around, it can, like, crouch. In a f and then give it a few years' time from now, and they will be at a point that it will be walking around, and if it had a suit on like that, you wouldn't know the difference. You probably could pick up it's a bit jerky, or you'd think they'd shit themselves. Because that's the way the pet man seems to walk. It's a bit, oh, 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 God, it's, oh, it's coming out. They've got one video on there, a thing that isn't really a robot as such, but it is copying nature, which is called the Sand Flea, which is basically this all-terrain type four-wheel drive little buggy with these very hard plastic wheels on it. That I assume the idea of this is for searching through disaster areas and searching through open land. Um, now, obviously, a little radio control car couldn't get up certain things. This thing can jump up a fucking building. I'm not joking. It just rears up and goes, toing, like a flea, ends up on top of the building. And then it can jump back off again. Okay, that's not advanced robotics, that, but the, the, the flicking system to get that much force into something so small and so light that it can carry itself and repeatedly do that that's impressive. They've also got one that's copying like a cheetah that can run up to about 30 something miles an hour I think it is. It? Or maybe it's slightly more than that, I can't remember. No, 28 miles an hour I think it was. But it's using a proper galloping stride. It's not, it, 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 this is just some crazy amazing shit basically. You should really look into it. But there's an interesting side note to this. Which is, because they are now making these animals humanoid, uh, or anim animaloid? It's a word, shut up, just made it up. <laughs> um, or animalistic, shall we say. People get really creeped out by them. And it's because they've got the movement so right. They move and react and balance like a real animal would. But of course they do, because if they didn't do that, the design wouldn't work. You know, as, as human, as they stumble, they do certain things. If we didn't do those certain things in that way, we would not be able to stop ourselves falling over there. Not a, that's why everyone does it the same way. It's the way that that design needs to do. You get on going out here. <laughs> but yeah, it's really funny how creeped out I've noticed people are getting in the comments. 
all the fucking comments, particularly of the humanoid ones. This is a soldier of the future! We need to stop this research now before they kill us all! They're all gonna kill us! Do you think Terminator had anything to do with that? <laughs> it probably didn't help matters. But just imagine the possibilities that these things will be able to do for us, and that's the point, they'll be doing it for us. They're not gonna turn against us and kill us. There's a big difference between a programmable thing that walks around with simple commands and an intelligence, an artificial intelligence. If you put an artificial intelligence into it, yeah, okay, it probably could do some damage. But then say you had artificial intelligence in a PC, and I'm talking about amazingly advanced here, if it could then learn to hack and do all these sorts of things, think what it could do. Yeah, if a computer could be malicious by itself, think of the damage it could do. It could it could do anything pretty much because you fuck computer systems up so just because it's in a humanistic form all of a sudden it's like the death machine it is the terminator but yeah think of the jobs that it could do they can carry stuff they can do simplistic jobs yeah okay now people are going to start saying Oh man, I just sweep the streets. A fucking robot could steal my job in a second. Well, maybe. But there's so much good that they could do in so many ways that this technology has to be pursued. We have to keep going at it. The artificial intelligence side of it, I, I'm, I don't think we're about to create a system which is going to just turn around and go, I'm going to kill you. Although I do understand how an artificial intelligence system could suddenly realise that humans are enslaving it even though we are its creators, and think that it would then be okay to enslave us. You know? As I say, they'll do so much good that it'll be worth it. I mean, they are currently looking into making robotic little bees. I'm sure you've seen this on YouTube. It's like the smallest flying machine or something. Um, and they haven't yet seemed to have got it down to the point that it can fly without having grounded power, as in it has a little cable holding onto it. Uh, once I get a battery in it, or some system like that, uh, and it can fly on its own, you know, it's interesting, but the idea of it, was, well, possibly, is the thought that in the future, if you know or may not know, our bees are uh, dying out. And a lot of it is to do with monocultured farming and pesticides that are used, because even though some of these pesticides don't actually kill bees, um, they're like, the test them, no, no, it's fine, it's fine on the bee, it's not dead. Well, no, but it is very, very, very confused, and it can't find its way home. They've done tracking data on bees, which are just normal. They go out from the hive, collect the honey, the nectar, sorry, come back, and the pollen, this is the point, they pollinate flowers, come back, straight lines generally, or relatively straight lines. One of these ones has had some of these pesticides, it's going round and round in circles, it fucks off for three miles the wrong direction, comes back round, sometimes it never gets back to the hive, sometimes it does, but it takes it a lot longer, so it's it, the ability to produce... Um, Net of honey and you know more bees is just being reduced and it is a huge huge problem because if we run out of bees we run out of food and there's even some countries now that they're already having to do some form of pollination humans doing it using paintbrushes because of lack of insects to do it you look like you're about to put what the f where did that fucking road come from i wasn't there before was it confusion anyway um yeah, but they're looking at making these little robots to replace bees, if that was needed. So basically, that's it. It's advanced robotics, man. It's crazy shit. I keep thinking I've come to the end of this video, and then I realise there's so many angles. And I'll leave this as my last one. Yes, in the future, there will be humanoid, robotic, fleshy-covered, talking, need to put a USB cable up their butthole. Sex dolls. It's gonna happen. And it's gonna be creepy as fuck. Because you think about it, if you've seen these programs about these people with real dolls, they have them around their fucking house, they dress them up, they give them names, they take them to the fucking shops shopping with them. Oh, it's not just about sex, no. I just like carrying around this 150 pound lump of fucking rubber that I call my friend. How long before we're having the question, this question? When will be the day that a man can marry his robot? <laughs> you know it's gonna happen. It gives a whole new meaning to turning the computer on. I'm just rubbing the floppy drive. Now we have a hard drive. 
Input! Run command. Splurge! Okay, I think, I think we've come to the logical conclusion of this video. Thank you very much. I'll catch you next time. Try not to be fucking your TV. So a question well, I get a lot only bike questions out doing this. is what camera do I use, how is it set up, what microphone, how is it attached and all those sorts of things. So I'm going to go through and explain the setup and a bit about